guys back some more Danganronpa Trigger Happy Havoc. In the last episode, we kind of, you know, we found out somebody died. Somebody got murdered. Sakura is gone. No longer here with us. Um, Hina is very much in the, it has to be Byakuya Hero or Toko. Byakuya is pretty much trying to clear himself, make sure that he is not a target. He is not a definitive answer. Um, but we have Toko and Hiro to talk to, so let's go ahead and find out their location and what they are up to. Who is where? It was said that they were both in their rooms. Yes, okay, so they're both chilling. They're both in their rooms. Let's go ahead and run over there, talk to both of them, see what their thought processes are, because one of them are the bad guy, probably. I don't know. I'm kind of... Kind of veering on the side of caution here because like I said my thought process is actually gonna be Hina who gets in trouble because Hina's like uh, Candy could have been laced and that could have been the kill ding dong after a few seconds uh, uh, Who's there? Uh, that's the most negative aura I've ever felt an aura of total decay. Well, so you're back to normal. Genocide Jack isn't around anymore. Don't even say her name. It makes me sick to my stomach. I was in such a good mood, too. She didn't look like she was in a good hey, mood. I was hoping to talk to you about something. Is now a bad time? <laughs> Obviously, you know, I took a slither out of the, into the hall. What do you want? You said you wanted to talk to me about something? I wanted to uh, talk to you about Sakura and had ha, uh, the fact that Sakura had asked to meet with you. Uh, well. I, I, I don't know what you're t talking about. Byakuya already told me that she had asked to, the, to meet with him. What? She wanted me to. She wanted to meet Master too. Uh, I just said two, didn't I? I guess now it's totally, t totally obvious, huh? Yeah, pretty much. So can you tell me about it? I admit, I did get the notes, but, but, but I didn't go see her. I was just so scared, so I... So basically, she hid in her room is what she's trying to claim, too. Toko also claims she didn't see her, but can I really believe her? Well, until I can prove otherwise, I have no choice but to accept that as fact. <laughs> is that good, good, good enough? Then I'm going back to my room. With that, Toko quickly retreated into her room. Toko's account is an added to the truthful section. I'm going to be honest, I do... Wait. Okay, that's Sakura herself. Okay. Which one's Bahiyaki? Or which one's Yasuhiro? There we go. Yasuhiro, again, being involved in another murder. I pressed the doorbell. Ding dong. And after a few seconds. You know? What's up, Makoto? Do you need something? Of course I do. Oh, yeah, actually. I wanted to check something about how... It's about Sakura. I wanted how She wanted to meet with you. <laughs> how did you know about that? Oh. Did you gaze into my soul? Have you been have a special ability awakened in you? Um, but I'm not the only one she wanted to meet with. Ogre told me herself that she had asked Byakyo and Toko to come too. What? When did Sakura tell you that? Oh, well, well, well. When she asked me to meet her, of course. But she didn't write you a note? Yeah, uh, a note. Uh, she uh, she gave me it to it. She gave it to me in person, and she happened to mention the others like in passing. Got to be honest, this is super suspicious, hero. So, then you went to go meet with Sakura? No way! I totally didn't. Why would I ever do that? Yeah, that's definitely suspicious. Actually, the last time I saw Ogre is when Hina got hurt, and I took her to the nurse's office. Don't look at me. I haven't seen her since then. While I'm here, could you show me the note you, she gave you? Oh, um, do I still have it? Let's see. Hero's feeling around in his pocket. Uh, sorry, it looks like I don't have it anymore. With a big goofy smile on his face, he pulled his hands back out of his pockets. And when he did, I saw something flutter to the ground. Something had fallen out of Hero's pocket. Huh? Ah. Ah. Uh, quick as the wind, Hero snatched it up back up again and shoved it into his pocket. Hey, come on. S yeah, sorry for the bit of trash. I forgot to throw it out. Trash. What? What? Anyway, I can't deny that Ogre asked me to meet or her asked me to meet with her me, but I never went. So if you'll excuse me, before waiting for a reply, Hero quickly slipped back into his room. Hero said that it was trash, but there's no way that's all that there was to it. 
pocket trash has been added to the truth bullet section. That is another candy wrapper. Did Hero poison Sakura or Sakura? Sakura definitely was poisoned. That is what I do have the sneaking suspicion. It was definitely laced. 100%. What she ate was what killed her. Definitely have to look at the crime scene again. But on top of that, maybe I should find out more about the protein can we found on the floor in the rec room. Um, I'm sure it must have come from the chem lab. So where where should I start? The chem lab. Or, so that's where I should start. Not, yeah. Anyways, going to the chem lab. That is on the fourth floor. So let's see how quickly we can get there. I want to say the chem lab is in that one. Uh, it is not. Where is the chem? Oh, I literally went to the wrong side. Also, the fact that there's a fifth floor is kind of sketch doodle. What button am I? Oh, is it because I'm... Oh, you know what? Oh, no, no, no. Okay, no, it's not because I was looking at the map. I was wondering if maybe me looking at the map was causing that. No. I can still run with the map in my hand. Cool. Good pieces of advice to finally learn. So maybe that'll transfer over to the other games. Hi, Byakia. Makoto, did you have your eye on the chem lab too? Just making sure you don't get in my way, you know? Yeah, I got it. It's fine. I think you want to meet... Or what you meant to say is, yes, sir, I understand. No, that's not what I meant to say at all. We got to figure out what we can figure out. Okay. Well, I don't care about Byakia right now. We are talking here. This isn't my first time seeing the shelf, but... I can't get over how big it is. I should probably take a closer look at it. It looks like there's three shelves that have been connected together to make one giant shelf. But more importantly right now, what's that powder that spilled in front of the shelf? I have to be careful not to step in it. It's a bunch of yellow powder scattered on the floor, but I better not leave a footprint. Oh, speaking of footprints, hi. These are footprints, and they're in front of the, or the left shelf. Hmm. How do those footprints relate to the scene as a whole? We need to sketch out the floor plan. By we, do you mean me? Hmm. How kind of you to offer that? With an insufferable smirk, he handed me a piece of paper and a pen. What? Well, let's go. Chop, chop, chop. Okay. I got to work, and before long, I had drawn up a sketch of the room. So, um, how's this? <laughs> Not bad for you, I mean for me. So when you look at it, it's like like this. Interesting. It would appear that whoever left his footprints only had business at the leftmost shelf. They came in and went straight to the shelf and did whatever they had to do, then left. That's what the footprints tell me. I see. These footprints must be. Makoto, possible. are those yours? Ooh. No! What? Okay then, let me see your shoes so I can confirm their size for myself. I couldn't think of a reason not to, so I quietly did what Bakira asked. Hmm. I see. Your foot do appear to be too big. Unfortunately, I admit that these are not your footprints. Unfortunately. Hmm. But with how clear these prints are, it should be quite easy to determine who they do belong to. And these footprints are clearly a valuable clue. Yeah, I, that's what I was thinking. Also, that's a toxic chemical. The broken bottle in front of the shelf, this is where all the powder came from. It looks like the bottle had a label on it. Chem C4. Hmm. Would, it, would you like to hear something interesting? The reason it's on the fourth... I was on the fourth floor this morning checking things out. And at that point, this room wasn't like this. So the powder must have been spilled. So in other words... That's right. It could have been around the time of the incident. If you really... If it's... That's really what is when it happened. It must be related to the case somehow. Source of the powder. Some C4 powder. That's not good. I should probably take a good look at, a hard look at that powder. There's a bunch of yellow powder scattered around in the front of the shelf. That also remains a broken bottle. It looks like the bottle was labeled Chem C4. It looks like someone left some footprints in the powder. We saw that already. Based on the positioning of the prints, whoever was on it only was on the left side. We already figured that one out too. According to Biakia, the powder would have had to be spilled right around the time of the incident. That's all I can tell for now, though. Footprints in the powder. Okay. Is there still more to investigate? Yes, there is still more. Oh, oh my god, it's each individual shelf. And we haven't checked out this part of the powder, I don't think. 
There's a bunch of yellow powder, blah, blah, blah. We already, okay, we did check that out. Okay, each individual shelf then. So, on this shelf is... What is on shelf B? It looks like a bunch of chemicals, but I have no idea what they are. Hmm. If they're reagents, put simply, they're used in experiments for a bunch of different chemical reactions. How have you lived in such ignorance for so long? It's a truly must be bliss. Isn't that kind of harsh? What? what do you think? Studying science and mathematics has no practical application in the well world? Fine. The words of a lifelong loser, which I suppose suits you very well. Because it started to get uh... <sighs> lighting started to become different. Sorry. Anyway, that doesn't matter. Right now, we need to focus on the shelves. All the containers on this shelf are labeled with a letter B and a number. So I guess we can consider this part of section B. Hmm. Don't see anything out of the ordinary on this shelf. Which, in this case, I don't think we have to worry too much about this shelf. Okay, shelf C is probably the poison one. On this shelf is, on this. One look, I can tell these chemicals are nothing but dangerous. These look like poisons and other powerful chemicals. All the containers on the shelf are labeled with the letter C and, ha and a number. So I guess we can consider this part of the shelving of Unit C. Let's see on this shelf. What's on this shelf? All these are kind of dietary supplements and different med medicines. The protein drink we found in the rec room was probably came from this shelf as well. All the containers on this are labeled with the letter A and a number. So I guess I consider this part of the unit section A. But wait, yes, Socorus was part of section C, if I remember correctly. There's one bottle labeled in here, Chem C9. Could it be have been put here on accident? I should try and find out more about the shelving unit. Looks like there's a split into three sections. Section A is dietary, B is reagents, and C is lethal chemicals. Sakura must have gotten the protein powder from section A. I don't think so. I think it was a C2, if I remember correctly. Um, but the, what concerns me is that Section A, there was a bottle with the label from Section C. What was the bottle of poison in Section C doing in Section A? There's definitely something going on here. Chem Shelf Lab has to have been added to the Truth Bullet section. I've already taken a good look in the rec room, so or look good look in the crab lab, cra ooh, the chem lab. Maybe I should take another look at the rec room. Like I said, I think Sakura's body or body, Sakura's uh, Sakura's frick. What is it called? Oh my god, Sakura's bottle of protein powder was from section C. I want to say it was C two if I'm act like if I'm remembering correctly, which would then indicate that somebody did purposely put that there, label it. Hmm. right I but who would do that the only person that would know that is Hina which is really something that would well I don't think that that would be the only person to know that but the only person that would that goes in there often enough is Hina um, and she knows Sakura's tendencies in there which makes me a little suspicious of Hina like Hina is actually the one I'm the most suspicious of which is crazy because of the friendship line but I don't know I don't can I trust that friendship line I don't think so. Personally, I do not think I can trust that friendship line. Hey. So, Makoto, how's your investigation going? I told Kyoko and what Toko and Hiro had told me. I see. I see. So, along with Byakia, they both are claiming that they didn't go see her. But that's all too convenient. Someone must be lying. Someone's lying. Anyway. Well, I've made a progress of my, of my own. Sakura's body, the shelf magazines, and Monokuma's bottles. Th these three things have revealed new clues. You do well to look over them one more time. Yes, I want to check her bottle first. Oh, no, no, no. It's A2. I was wrong. There's some kind of plastic container rolling around the entrance room. So... Looks like it's a protein drink and it's empty. Sakura must have drank it, but and it really knows how much she loved her protein. But still, this protein can. It got the label on it that says Chem A2. So she must have gotten this from the Chem Lab. Hey. But you see what's scattered around the can? Shards of blue glass that are part of the window that I broke Correct. got inside. But they are scattered around. They can they aren't just scattered around, they're also underneath it. Why is so... that matter? I can't say for sure yet, but you're probably gonna want to take note of that. I feel like you're um it'll become a an important clue later on. She wanted me to take a look at the Monokuma figures. Again. Thank you, so she found a new clue involving the Monokuma bottles. 
Something is new. Something new, huh? Hey. So did you figure that out? There's a kind of hidden correlation between all the bottles. Pay careful attention, and you're sure to find it. It's that they're all chess pieces. It's a correlation. Um. Hey, Kyoko. Can you do, can't you just tell me what it is? So... I don't mind guiding you towards clues, but giving you my conclusion isn't a good idea. Each person needs to come to their own conclusion so that everyone can have confidence in the outcome. And it's not just because you don't trust me, right? No answer. <laughs> I do trust you to a degree. Otherwise, I wouldn't have told you anything to begin with. Only to a degree. Monokuma bottle has been updated in the truth bullet section of the handbook. Hey. Actually, there's one other big thing about the Monokuma bottles that's been bothering me. I do like to do an experiment. To, I would like you to. I would like to do an experiment to confirm it. You don't mind helping me with that, right? An experiment. Anyway. Can you gather up all the pieces of the broken Monokuma bottle and try and get smaller pieces too? Huh? Are you sure it's okay to mess with the crime scene like that? That doesn't matter. I've already done a thorough investigation, so it's fine. And that's obnoxious Biakia. And that obnoxious Biakia is not here. So, so then. anyway, I need to get uh, gather something from the chem lab while I'm gone. So try and gather up all the glass. Kyoko left the room. I don't really know what this is about, but what choice do I have? I better just do it. I took a broom and a dustpan and got to work collecting all the broken pieces. And just as I finished up, sorry Hello to keep then. you waiting. Is everything ready? Let's get to work. So what kind of experiment are we doing? In other words, I got a scale from the chem lab, and we're going to use it to compare weights. Compare weights of what? <laughs> the pieces of the glass you collected and one from the Monokuma bottles that are still intact. What can you do with that? At that point of the experiment, it'll make sense when we're done. Listen. First, let's compare the weight of two normal Monokuma bottles. It's balanced, words, which means each Monokuma bottle weighs about the same, which does make sense. So the Monokuma figures inside are basically the same weight with nothing else that could really affect the weight. So then. Now, here comes the important part. Pull the pieces you picked up on the side of the scale. And what we might expect to see, well, a normal assumption would be Either they'll balance out, or the pieces I collected will be lighter. I did my best to get them all, but there's a chance that I could have missed some here and there. So then. Okay, so let's give it a try. Huh? The broken pieces are heavier? How is that possible? I knew it. Just as I thought. What? In other words. The results of our experiment, and the correlation between each bottle, put it all together. I believe they will arrive at one very persuasive conclusion. So what do you think? It's all on you. Monokuma bottle experiment has been added to the truth bullet section of your handbook. Okay, we picked up the pieces. What else did Kyoko want us to do? In other words, the results of our experiment and the correlation between each bottle put it all together, and I believe you will arrive at the one hey. passive conclusion. So what do you think? It's all on you. The experiment showed that the pieces of glass on the floor were heavier than the intact Monokuma bottle. And the bottles have something in common. There apparently is an important secret hidden there. I gave that to Sakura. She was super upset when I found out Genocide Jack attacked me, right? So after we left the nurse's office, blah, blah, blah. Leave the area? Sure. Hmm. Where should we head off to now? That becomes the question. We have a lot of truth bullets. There's a lot to work with, so we're probably only missing one thing. Hmm. Going back to the rec room. What did she say to take a close eye on? Wasn't it the glass? There are shards of glass scattered around the chair that Sakura was sitting on. All the glass is red and the bottles. There must be uh, originally been a bottle. On top of that, near the glass, the figure. We already got that. According to Kyoko, there's something to, discover, or to be discovered from Sakura's body. Just okay. Just staring off into space isn't going to help you figure anything out. Well, yeah, I know, hey. but... Don't you think that might actually you might need to examine the body? Whew. There's no getting around it. 
unlike me, Kyoko didn't recoil at the thought of touching a dead body. She completely was emo unemo or emotion or unemotional. It's the kind of thing that I've grown passively or pers perversely used to. Although there's still tons of times. I can't believe how calm you are. No matter how many times you I see a dead body, I can't get used it's to it. True. That's totally normal. Then how can you? So... I imagine it's because I've had plenty of opportunities to touch dead bodies in the past. What? Sorry, never mind. Hey. More importantly, look here. Her shoes. Correct. You see that yellow powder in her instep? That, yeah, that really stands out. I see. That powder is clue number one. Yellow powder has been added to the truth bullet section of your handbook. Hey. The next is the wound to the, her head. It's Look carefully. True. Actually, even telling you that is incredibly difficult to spot. So let me explain. It, it would appear that she didn't suffer a single blow, but inside she received two. Instead, she received two blows to the head. Two. Indeed. Interesting, wouldn't you say? There's more than there, and there's one more interesting thing. Correct. Both of her hands were spotless and absolutely no trace of blood on either it's one. True. So that would. So from what I've learned from examining her body in detail, or that's what I've learned from examining her body in detail. I can't believe she was actually able to learn all that but just by looking at her body. I don't think anyone but Kyoko would have pulled that off. Is that... Wow. There's still more. Okay, Kyoko. What do you have to say now? In other words... The result of the experiment, Coalition Bottles put it all together. I believe y'all... Arrive at one persuasive hey. confusion. So what do you think? It's all on you. Hmm. We'll look at the chair again. Hina, what do you have to say? What the heck? We already know who did it! <laughs> Bayaki, Hitoka, or Hiro. It had to be Just one of them. What? You see, Sakura asked all three of them to meet her in the rec room, right? Yeah, we know it already, girl. We know the rapper. We touched that already. What else could be in here? The locker's open. We already know that. It's true. Hey. Indeed. There must be something else I'm missing. Something hey. new, something new. There's a hidden correlation between all the bottles. Pay careful attention. I'm sure you'll find it. A correlation. I don't know what the bottles have in common, and I don't understand the results of the experiment. Oh, I have to talk to the bottles again. Comparing the weight of the broken bottle pieces to the completely intact Monokuma bottle, the broken pieces were clearly heavier. What does that even mean? So... The results of our experiment, the correlation between the bottles, put it all together, and I believe you'll arrive at one persuasive Indeed. conclusion. So, what do you think? It's all on you. I know that, Kyoko! Kyoko said the magazine shelf was hiding a clue of some kind. Oh, okay, that's what I missed. Okay, cool. A clue, clue, clue. Huh? One magazine's upside down. Did someone put it back in that way on accident? Hey. If something catches your eye, it's important for you to explore in that in detail, don't you think? You're right. I picked up the investigative the magazine and flipped through it. This is Toko. One of the pages near the center of the magazine had the word written in blood, bold, bloody letters. And it said Toko. Could this be... A dying message? Correct. Then it would appear you have found it. Kyoko, this so... is this? It is indeed a dying message. Someone used their finger to write it. A dying message. However... But just to be clear, I am not the one who put it back upside down. I was already like that. It was already like that when I found it a while ago. I made sure to put it back exactly as I found it for the benefit of the others who might come looking. Um... Hey, is that... That's his Toko, right? Yeah, it looks like it. Then she's the killer, right? Well, we have not confirmed that yet, Hina. <laughs> it is settled. She's the killer for sure. It is conclusive evidence, right? We can use it to corner the killer. I can see why you would think that, but 
it just seems too easy. If anything, it makes me that much more suspicious. Magazine's dying message has been added to the truth bullet section of your notebook. I don't think it's Soko. I, I honestly think it's, I want it to be hero. Hero, 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 hero. He had caught me sleeping. Your investigation was just so boring. I couldn't stay awake. Should I do it? Is it okay? Can I? Can I? Can I? Can I? You can do it, Monokuma. Okay, then let's begin the class trial. Please go through the red door on the first floor of the school. <laughs> See you soon. It's already time, but the mystery of the locked room is still only half solved. At this point, whatever happens will happen at the class trial. No, not whatever happens. I have to make something happen. There is six people left, guys. This is wildly insane, to be perfectly honest. Let's carry on. There is only six. Monica made his announcement, and everybody began to meet up one after another. And then... The ultimate martial artist. A locked room murder mystery. What? What the? <laughs> oh, I've just recently discovered the power of emoticons. Like, no matter how awful something is, if you toss it in a smiling face, it turns positive. Yes, indeed. For example, <laughs> you are out of panic and you find a dead body. Ah! This is just plain creepy. Well? And how about the reverse? Yeah. No matter how great something is, if, if you put it in a sad face, it makes it look super negative. Yes, For example, hmm. do you have a hundred friends? Oh. What? He's right. That does make it seem I sad. Now then, wait. get in the elevator. If you s see you all down there. Whoa. Whoa, what the hell was that? I don't get it. Uh, I don't get you guys. How can you act super casual after murdering somebody? D don't look at I me. don't think I'm acting casual. Don't be mean. Or, I mean, I didn't murder anyone. Yeah, yeah, I'm completely innocent. How did dare you call me a murderer? What the heck? Whatever, guys. Uh, <laughs> either way, the truth is revealed soon enough because there is no doubt one of us is the culprit. The killer, the one that murdered Sakura. She was stronger than anyone I know, and yet someone still managed to kill her. And the person is here. That person is one of us. One of them. <sighs> that was a very quick investigation period, honestly. But let's get down to the elevator. Let's get down to business. Who? Which one of these five killed? Honestly, I'm leaning towards Hina. And I hate to say it, I want it to be Hero, but I'm leaning towards Hina. With each step I took, I felt like I was moving further and further away from my goal. I could feel the chilling fear running through me, trying to make the rot from inside out. No matter how many times I got through this, it never gets any, any easier. We climbed into the steel prison of total silence. We watched as the door closed and felt it begin its sinister descent. There is so little people in this elevator. The elevator lowered, uttering and... It's all too familiar clunking sounds. It fell lower and lower. And suddenly, as always, it stopped. The door opened once again. Hmm, hmm just the six of you, huh? Well, really? That's so few. You must be so lonely. No, you say that like it's not your fault. We're all that's left. I wonder if will the class trial end with one less classmate again, or will the school life come to an end completely? Now then, now then are you ready to begin? You know the drill. Find your assigned seats, everyone. And so the certain the curtain opened for the fourth time, and a deadly judgment, a deadly deception, and a deadly betrayal, a deadly riddle, and a deadly defense. A deadly faith. A deadly class trial.
save data pre-trial prep. Yes, we will. Uh, we got to prep this for the pre-trial investigation. Who in the bead was the murderer? We don't know. And only you guys will find out in the next episode of Dang and Europa Triple Happy Havoc. I cannot wait to see who the heck killed. Like I said, I believe in, I believe it's Hina. I 100% think they're trying to throw, Hina is trying to throw us off of the trail because it makes the most sense. Friendly betrayal. It has to happen at some point. We have not had something like that happen. We are in the final six. Somebody had to do it and it had to, I think it has to be Hina. Thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see you guys next time. Bye.